Hello and welcome back to the Smart Academy. Today we're looking at the part two section of measuring airflow, specifically how to use an anemometer. This is our vein anemometer here. Again, it's an X-Tech model, AN100 is what we're using. We're gonna actually show you how it works on the package, okay? So the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna scroll up and down until our device reads CFM or cubic feet per minute. Most measurements for HVAC purposes, we're going to be using CFM to measure. Next, I need to set the area. If you remember, we went through a little bit of the math on how to calculate our square footage section. Here, we've got an SACP 40 A-HS 40 ton industrial high static air conditioner and we've got a single 20 inch piece of round duct hook up to it. If you remember, we said that the uh, footage squared or square area of a 20 inch duct was 2.18 feet squared. So I need to go through to my device, to my anemometer and set it for a 20 inch duct. So I'm gonna hold the area button and then you can see the feet squared square footage is 2.18. I hold that key again and it resets. So now this device is calibrated or set to go use a 20 inch duct. So this is our 40 ton unit. The blower is not at full speed. It's right at middle of the range. Let's go see what our airflow reads in CFM. Before you put your vein anemometer in the airflow, it's important to note that there's an arrow that tells you which direction you have to be in when you stick the veins in the airflow. In our case, the arrow is going in this direction, so I want to stick it in airflow in that direction. You'll also notice that when using round duct in particular, there's kind of a vortex pattern of the air where just outside of the center point, we're going to get the highest airflow. That's typically where we're going to make our measurements. I'm going to show you how to use the anemometer, and then in later discussions, we'll talk about how many measurements should we take and where to get a good average. Okay, so let's put our anemometer in the right direction and let's take some airflow measurements. So we want to be as perpendicular to airflow as we can get, which I've tried to get there. And at relatively low frequency on the VFP with a single 20 inch duct for at 6,573 hertz. So that's the measurement that we're going to use for, uh, for this particular device. And that's it. We've done a basic introduction on how to use an anemometer and how to measure airflow for our customers. One last thing to note, is that we took our measurement with a single duct on the su su supply side or exiting side of this air conditioning unit. In theory, both your return and your supply should be about the same. Again, in later videos, we'll talk about should we take it on the return air side or the supply side. We've taken this particular measurement on the discharge, the outlet, or the supply side panel. You'll also notice that we have two supplies on our standard 40-ton unit. If we had two ducts coming out, we'd have to measure the airflow of both ducts and add them together so that we could get the total CFM or air volume on this particular package. Thank you for watching. Please stay safe out there.